What's up guys, Angry Gun Owner here, doing the Fallout 3 Beginner's Guide. Been wanting to do this for a while, capture software kind of messed up. Finally got it running again, so here we go. Alright, what's going to be going on in this video, I'm going to be basically giving you starting tips, you know, stuff that you need to have, perks that you need to get, um, basically to get you ready for the Fallout, Fallout world, um, skill, skill boosts, there's a bobblehead you need to get. Um, I'll be giving you a uh, perk rundown later in the game. You know, useless perks such such as uh, perks that basically only boost your your skill points, which are largely useless. Um, and essential perks, stuff that you're gonna need, you're gonna want. Um, good for basically every play style in this game. So. I left this intro in here just because, you know, why not? I love the intro to the game. I love Ron Perlman, great actor. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. If you guys hadn't already guessed, this is my favorite game nuclear fire and radiation. of all time. Uh, I gotta say, I just, I've never played a game that really, you know, captures, you know, the um, atmosphere, sets up the world the way this game does, and uh, I gotta say, like, when I first started playing this game, I actually got, like, depressed. Like, that's, I don't know, that's just how good... The uh, atmosphere in uh, Fallout 3 is. Um, I don't really think New Vegas uh, captured that. I mean, you know, with all the uh, bright colors of the desert and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I still loved uh, Fallout New Vegas, one of my favorite games, but I, I don't think they captured the atmosphere as well as they did in Fallout 3. All except those involved 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. Alright, so here we go. We were just born. Also the only game that <laughs> I've seen that ever really starts out with you being born. Really, the first, I would say, hour or two of this game are you, you know, basically growing up in, in, Vault, um, in Vault 101. And uh, I think they captured the um, immersion or the the way they set it up was very immersive. Did a really good job with that. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Of course, I have a bright future ahead of me. Hi there. I'm the protagonist of the game, duh. Daddy. Can't you see that, Dad? You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. 
What do you think about? All right, let's see. Let's go with. Toss bag. Bunker. Cunt. That's a good name. That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Fits me perfectly. Like the gene projection. Liam Neeson's already it's insulted us. Like when you're all grown up. All right, just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and run through this generic dude. You're going to look a lot like your All right, let's keep going. See that, Catherine? Oh. Oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're James? just Catherine James. Catherine, Something she's in cardiac James. arrest. Start compressions. James. Get the baby out of here. Move, move. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay. You want me? We need a doctor, not a dead man. Fail to meet my expectations, and there will be no James and his cheery chatter. Decorations. Your future the native toys in this place will feel just like home. Don't look straight into the light, pal. You'll hurt your eyes. It's just something you get used to down here. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. All right, so here we are. Walking toward dad. Go. My goodness. Just take this, Liam Neeson. Already walking like a bang. Your mother would have been oh. so proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves. Liam Neeson's impervious to pain. To anyway, of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. Stay here, yeah, right. I'll be back in a bit. Can be cooped up, man. All right, we're gonna go ahead and close the gate behind us because Dad raises as a polite gentleman. All right, guys. So this is where you will be picking your skills, your special, as in strength, perception. Endurance, Charisma, Intelligence, Agility, and Luck. Stands for special. Alright guys, I'm just going to basically make a well-rounded character right here. Uh, one thing you do not want to do is to up any of these to nine or um, I'm sorry to ten points there are bobbleheads in the game that um, when you collect them they will bump up um, one of your uh, special points so never oh boy never so start yes, out with a ten have to go to class to take your goat anyway exam. so jump ahead a little bit well, this is where you will be goat. getting the first bobblehead hey, which is medicine 16 make well, sure you grab this bad. too if you do not grab this, it will become unobtainable um, on consoles. Unless you have a PC, you can add it with uh, console commands. And it's right here on Dad's desk, right before you go and take the goat, which ups your medicine skill by 10 points before you even encounter an enemy, which is very good for you know starting out in the game. That's one less skill you have to tag, basically. Um, good morning. So Stop yeah, grab this, and we are off to take the goat. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snake! Alright, first thing you'll come across is right here. Now, if you I talk to Butch, you if your snake, characters are going to be specializing God, in speech what? or something Don't like that, mess with the you can start off by getting some XP what? from Butch you by passing off? a speech check, we rule this fall. which is a... I can't remember if it's an easy or very easy speech check. It's one of Me those. And Butch, we're just having um, some you will be able to pass it if you're focusing on speech. Or if you just want to get past it like this. I don't follow anyone. Go to Wally Wally Mac Mac right here. Own man. You know, and the tunnel insults. snakes is where I belong. And well, he'll get you think Butch is in charge? Off. Is that what people are saying? Because it's a lot of shit if that's what they're saying. Go talk to Mata and she will thank you. 
What? Or what kind of shit is that? No one talks that. Back. Or He's you could always just me. make Nobody's fun of him, Mata. Nobody's the boss of me. I'm out of here. If you're going for a negative karma option. We're done These idiots away from me. Done. And they we're will go away. We're not done. I say when we're done. Don't know who put you in charge. I say we're done. Let's go, Paul. Are you sure? Wally Mac, Wally Mac um, basically okay. gets pissed because you implied you say, that he's Wally. gay. Tunnel snakes rule. <laughs> Fine, Still can't get away with gay jokes and this ain't over, Daddy. Even in the Fallout universe, they're still present. Either, so we will gain good karma for that. Thank, thanks for getting rid of them. And she will thank you. And now go in well, and talk to Mr. Broach. It. And you can either do two things. You can skip the test all altogether, Listen, like I'm about to do, like or you can thing. take it. I only I, skipped it basically, so you know, for the sake of time. Um, so now you will be picking the skills you want to tag, well, which will raise the skills you tag by 15 points. Good thing to start out with. Lock pick's always good to have. Since we got the medicine bobblehead, we've already upped that. Don't really need to tag that. Um, you can always tag speech if you're going for that. Normally, I always tag repair, small guns, and sneak. That that will be essential to have early on in game. Um, you will get um, another chance to up your skills right after leaving the vault. You will um, rank up, which is your first level up. So you'll get to add other skills. It's in, you can basically add it to whatever you want. So after we got this, and head in the next section of the game, a flash forward, if you you will, to the overseer. We are in the process of escaping the vault. Just make sure um, after you get to this part, check all of the things uh, you can. The desk, the lockers, they will contain valuable stuff. Pre-war money is probably one of the best things you can keep and sell. It's If you have a high enough barter skill, it's worth 10 caps, and it weighs nothing. And you can find it quite a bit of... You, you can find quite a bit of it just laying around the wasteland. Um, another thing, you will get a skill book early on. I accidentally cut it out like an idiot. Um, it is a Grognak the Barbarian skill book. Make sure you read that before... It, the game uh, flash forwards um, to I think six years later or something like that um, because if you do not read it it will disappear for your inventory forever and you will miss out on a unarmed or a melee uh, skill point anyway so now we're going to the overseer's office go ahead and grab Jonas's uh, coat it gives you a boost in science skill. Search these desks for some more pre-war money. And normally you would go right. But once you go ahead and go left, you can talk to Amada. Thank you. If you I told like you to. my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better Her get out of here. Responsible I'll try change to meet you at the vault based door. on I how you it. handled the situation with the overseer, whatnot. This is her and her father's rooms over here. So you get some bobby pins, which are essential for lock picking. And you go in the other room, and they will have some more loot for you. 10 millimeter rounds, overseer's office key if you do not already have it. So now you are ready to escape the vault. Go out the right door, like I said earlier. This is the overseer's office. Pretty nice. Got a nice view of all, of all your underlings. This is the computer you will use to open the tunnel. Make sure you loot these lockers before you go. They have quite a bit of useful loot. And they're easily overlooked. Alright, so now you can go out on his computer, view a bunch of information that he has on different people in the vault. Or reports suggesting maybe he knows more about the outside world than they're leading on and when you're ready 
you can open the overseer's tunnel and you'll be on your way Because there's always a secret tunnel. Because of video games. Alright, we're going to close the tunnel behind us because we're nice like that. <laughs> Alright. This actually took me... The first time I played it, it took me a minute to figure this out. There's a switch on the wall. I thought it was a dead end. But of course, there it is. And the vault door control, which will open the supposedly. Uh, open the vault that has supposedly been sealed for. Uh, I think. You did it! You opened the door! My god, years, I, I almost didn't believe it was possible. No. 200 you years, didn't that's it. Me. If anyone can talk All right. about there, it's so, you. So, model come talk to you, blah blah blah. Goodbye. Listen. If you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, you know, Jonas and my father and everything. And you know, right after that, you will be attacked by these guys, so just be prepared to deal with these guys whenever you see fit. A bullet to the head, you know, always a viable option for most of the things in the wasteland. Alright, make sure you loot them for some valuable stuff. Always make sure you're to repair your gear as much as possible, so you can sell it for more caps. I always thought these were funny. They have picket signs like outside of the vault like somebody's going to see them or something anyway now you'll be exiting the vault if you're not satisfied with anything you can always edit it right before you leave as for most of the best RPGs So now we are outside of the vault, finally, and we get to see the beautiful sprawling wasteland laid out before, before us. You can of course see downtown Washington DC off in the distance. Now we will level up and put some more skill points into our stuff. Now I will give you the perk rundown. Upping your lock pick, always a viable option. I think to pick easy locks, it's 25 skill points uh, required to do that. And I just put 20 into speech, speech just because it helps, you know, every now and then. Every now and then you might need to pass something, uh, a speech check, just make something easier. Anyway, these are the perks. Daddy's boy. Skill perk it ups, you know certain skills. These perks are largely useless. You do not want to take them. You can just up it, you know, by leveling up anyway. Gun nut, uh, largely uses intense training. Very useful. I, um, I recommend you use this first four levels, uh, just to get some of the skills up to where you want them to. Lady killer, largely useless. Uh, not a lot of female enemies in the game. Uh, mainly male. Little Eager, another skill thing, useless. Swift Learner, this is a good one to have every now and then if you want to level up quicker. Um, I don't take it because I like to, you know, not level up as quick. Thief, not very good. Child at Heart, largely useless. Only a couple times in the actual game that you will use this perk. Comprehension, very useful. You need to have this perk. Instead of getting one skill point when you read a skill book, you get two. Educated, another essential perk. Uh, basically, you get to get more skill points every level. Entomologist, largely useless, I found. Uh, except for rad scorpions. Iron fist, another useless one. Scoundrel, another skill point. Bloody mess, kind of eh. 
I took it uh, the first time I played this because the 5% extra damage is useful, but there are some quests that require you to pick up gear from enemies, and when they explode into a bloody paste, it is hard to track down body parts and find them. Um, it can become, you know, kind of annoying later on in game when you do high damage and basically everybody's exploding. But, you know, if you're into that, go for it. Demolition Expert can be useful. Uh, Fortune Finder, if you want more caps, you can do that. Gunslinger increases pistol actually. Lead Belly found it largely useless. Uh, toughness, good one to have. Um, ups your damage resistance uh, to a maximum of 85%. Always, always a good thing. Commando, another good one. You'll be using a lot of two handed rifle weapons in this game. Uh, impartial meditation largely useless uh, basically karma has to say neutral and speech largely I didn't really focus on speech red resistance you know eh. scrounger this is good if you want a lot of ammo which you know is always good size matters another skill perk uh, strong back this is a good one to have um, especially early on in game, you get 50 more pounds of equipment. You can carry more loot, which is always a good thing. Animal friend, I actually found this kind of useful. Basically, the only thing uh, it's good for is Yao Guai. Um, those are only tough enemies. It comes in handy when you're looking for the sneak bobblehead, which is in a Yao Guai den. Uh, so if you do have this perk, you can pretty much just walk through it, you know, unscathed. Um, also, I th I thought Yao Guai were Probably the scariest in the game. Scariest enemy. Finesse, good to have. Really good. Higher chance to score critical hits. Here and now, do not take this perk. Basically what it does is it up your level so you get more skill points. It, it automatically bumps you up a level so you get to pick more skill points and another perk. But, if you do take this, you will be missing out on a perk as here and now does count as this level's perk. So, I would not recommend taking this. Mr. Sandman, good for uh, negative karma uh, characters. Can be useful. Um, if you need to get a key or, you know, if you need to kill someone or anything like that. Mysterious Stranger, you know, this is something you would take. Just have fun with it. Fun with the game. This guy will run in every now and then with the 44 mag and destroy whatever you're aiming at. So, kind of fun. Nerd Rage, do not take this perk. You will almost never be at 20% or below health, and at higher levels, if you are at 20% below health, you will not be alive long enough for this perk to take effect. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend taking this perk. Never really, never really was at below 20% health. Um, Night Person, if you like to travel at night, could be useful. Ups your perception. Cannibal, good for um, evil karma characters. Basically, if you kill someone, you know, basically free health laying on the ground that you eat. But it does give you negative karma every time you do it. Fast metabolism, good to have. 20% uh, health bonus using stim packs, which is really nice. Life giver, also useful to have. Uh, ups your hit points. Pyromaniac, largely useless. Not a lot of fire based uh, weapons in the game. Um, unless you're into that, you know, we want to exclusive you fire, fire based weapons. Robotic experts, I found largely useless. Don't encounter a whole lot of robots in the game. And robots are kind of a welcome challenge for me anyway. Silent running, kind of useful for a sneaky character. Um, just because you can basically walk as fast as you could when you're crouched. And that will not count into a successful sneak attempt. Sniper, good to have. Uh, higher chance to hit enemies' heads, which is useful later in game and early on in game. Adamantium Skeleton, this is a must have perk. 50% of the damage uh, to your limbs, which is really nice. Chemist, largely useless. Contract Killer, this is basically the negative version or the uh, negative karma version of Lawbringer. 
I found this perk to be useless. There's not a lot of good characters in the game that you can kill. Um, so you won't be making that many caps off of their um, ears. Uh, not to say that there's not a lot of good characters in the game. There is, but there's far more evil characters in the game that you will be killing. So if you're a negative karma type of guy, I wouldn't really take this. Cyborg, always good to have. Ups your uh, damage, poison, and rad resistance. Lawbringer, this is basically the good karma version of Contract Killer. Every evil human um, NPC has a finger on their corpse, which you can sell for, I believe, 100 caps. So you can make quite a bit of caps having this perk. Um, say if you clear, clear out like um, Evergreen Mills or something like that, which is basically full of raiders. Light step can be useful. Won't set off floor traps uh, if you're a sneaky type dude. Master trader uh, useful as well. Um, not necessary really. Uh, action boy good to have. Action points are always you know a welcomed addition. Better criticals must have perk. You gain a 50% damage bonus every time you score a critical hit and with the finesse perk you'll be doing criticals more often with massive amounts of damage so this is definitely a must have perk Kim resistant largely useless I didn't really use a lot of Kims in the game to begin with so you know uh, tag I wouldn't recommend this perk unless you really need you know a skill boost basically you tag another skill up it by 15 points which you know you may need for a quest or something. Computer Wiz, do not take this one. The amount of times you will be saving in this game is quite high. Basically it'll let you rehack a computer that you fail to hack but it becomes useless because you can just save before you hack the computer and if you fail you can just reload it. Concentrated Fire, good one to have. Um, every, every time you tag a body part in VATS it'll increase your chance to hit it so this can be very useful later on in game when you're running and gunning against you know enclave troops and whatnot. I actually use perk quite a bit. Infiltrator, do not get this perk. It's basically the uh, lock picking version of Computer Wiz. Paralyzing Palm, never really. I, I use this perk once, um, and it was kind of funny to paralyze a uh, super mutant behemoth. Uh, <laughs> uh, just see him go limp every now and then. Um, never really made an unarmed character though, so if you want to, that's Explorer. Good perk to have. I recommend this over the other in game perk, or uh, over the other end game perk, if I was not clear when I said that. Um, basically it'll mark every discoverable location on your map not for fast travel but it will mark it so you can see where it is um, and you can go out and find them uh, crazily enough I've never found every I've, I've never discovered every location on a single playthrough um, something I need to shoot for in the future. Grim Reaper Spirit this is the other one I was talking about similar to Explorer in-game perk um, Basically, this allows you, every time you kill somebody in VATS, it automatically stores all of your action points. So basically, you can pretty much play the whole game in VATS. I mean, I didn't take it because, you know, I like, I mean, don't get me wrong, VATS is nice. I really like that. I didn't really like to play the whole game in VATS, though. I wanted the extra challenge. Ninja, you know, for a stealthy melee weapon type person this is a good one I never really was able to take it so I can't really comment on it solar powered also could be good um, basically you gain two points of strength when in direct sunlight and you slowly re regenerate lost health now with solar powered um, a lot of times you'll like especially in the downtown um, area of DC you won't really be um, outside that much you'll be inside you know subway systems and stuff a lot so I kinda of found this perk useless anyway let's go with intense training like I said earlier 
And now we are making our way down to Springvale, which is the first town you will come across. Or not, if you just want to walk in the other direction to the end of the map, that's perfectly alright. As per Bethesda's big sandbox, sandboxy games, you can do whatever you want. But you will be missing out on some pretty good uh, game starting loot. So first thing you want to do, go over next to this mailbox. It will most likely have frag grenades in it and some chems. Chems can be useful uh, at the beginning of the game. I largely found them useless at the end of the game, mainly because um, you know you can you can put down people pretty quick um, at the end uh, towards the end of the game. Anyway, so make sure you search all these houses for containers. This is Foot Locker. I have some caps for you. Now, I'm not sure if all of these, um, all of these containers are set things. I don't know if you know the loot in them is a set thing. So you may find some different, some different stuff than, than I found. So you get rid of the propaganda spewing I bought. And yeah, just like I said, make sure you search these houses. There's a safe it's right over here. Make sure you get this skill book. Now, this is something that is set. I I do know that for a fact because I always find a skill book in that mailbox. Um, of course, go over here, find a safe. This is your first time you will be lock picking, so make sure you read the uh, instructions and get to it. And you'll find some some useful loot for you. All right. If you want to, you can go and basically explore the whole town of Springvale if you would like, or you can go straight to Megaton, sell off all your loot if you would like. You know, once again, this is basically just guidelines, you know, as often the case in Bethesda games, you know, nothing is set. You really don't have to do anything if you don't want to. Megaton, of course, is the town that's near the vault. You can see it right over there. Go over here, get some sodi pop. And there are more houses over here that you can search. Make sure you search the garbage cans too. Uh, sometimes the garbage cans will have useful loot in them, such as bottle, ca bottle caps and whatnot. This um, is identified as the small ranch house. There's a, uh, a girl in here named Silver. And she has, I think, approximately 300 caps on her. Now you could kill her and steal them. Or you could wait. Uh, she is actually involved in a task that Colin Moriarty wants you to help him with. Uh, he wants you to help him deal with her. You can get her to give you the caps with a speech check, or you could always just kill her and take them. Uh, she has quite a bit of useful loot in there, um, such as Kim's uh, stem packs ammo stuff like that but Steve he, even after you kill her which does result in negative karma you uh, if you steal her stuff that also will give you negative karma so you'll be starting off maybe as a neutral or bad character so let's go up to Megaton watch this awesome animation that you will see only once take a good look at it because you will never see it again And now you're free to go about your business or go inside Megaton if you would like to. Go through that gate. I will be showing you something that I showed in one of my early YouTube videos. Uh, the hollowed out rock behind Megaton. Actually took me a while to find um, the first time. But I got it nailed down. And um, has some pretty useful starting stuff. Uh... 
and just as a heads up there will be some hostile creature behind there sometimes it spawns uh, angry brahmin most times will spawn more rats which are pretty easy to deal with anyway so once you're done with that go over here it's marked by these three little dead trees or saplings I guess you'd call them and as you can see you can open it it'll start you out with some 308 rounds a note a sniper rifle a stealth boy and two stim packs now the sniper rifle is in poor condition most of the time and you will need to go here the crater side supply and she can repair it for you do whatever you need to do now like an idiot when I edited this um, earlier I completely cut out me getting the um, armored vault suit which is right here very useful early on in the game it um, looks damn cool uh, <coughs> sorry it bumps up your small guns and energy weapons so pretty useful early on because most of the time I would specialize in small guns early on anyway so go ahead and go inside and I'll be showing you the cap glitch in this game which basically <laughs> pretty much game breaking well I wouldn't say game breaking but so, you can get this whatever you want for basically free um, if you do this little glitch what do you need so what you'll need to look for is if she has two of the same items now when I say items I mean things that you can repair uh, such as weapons and apparel most of the time I would go with apparel uh, most of the time they don't really have the same weapons but if you could anyway so switch it over buy the cheapest one as you can see there's one with 30 and one with 13 so we we'll buy that see it's the same condition as it was we sell it back for less caps so go ahead and do that you go over here buy the same one and now magically it is at full condition and you can sell it back for more than you bought it for and when you sell it back notice that there's it's still there for 13 caps so go ahead and just keep buying and selling until you get all of her caps and you can basically do this with every vendor in the game um, barring a couple um, I think you're not able to do it with some of the traveling caravans just because they specialize in uh, certain things Good hunting. such as weapons miscellaneous items stuff like that so let's go ahead and check this out and we got some cool Mad Max type leather armor which is nice alright cut forward a little bit this is Springvale Elementary School this is where you can get your first free assault rifle which is good to have early on in the game also can be repaired um, at Megaton by Mortar Brown she can repair it I think to half uh, half condition which is you know it's good just let just as a heads up this um, area and the school will be full of raiders make sure always loot them I kinda screw up here I forget to loot one and I missed the key to the basement but one of them will be a raider that has noticeably more health than all the other ones that is the raider leader and when you kill her or him it's not a set person um, for me uh, on this run through she was a girl or it was a girl um, but on other past playthroughs it's been a guy you know, not a set raider but you will notice that they have a lot more health than the other ones they will be on the second floor of Springvale Elementary school. This is, of course, the basement. So, 
and this is where the door is to go down to the mining caves where you will find the assault rifle um, there are two dogs on the upper floor of Springvale school on the second floor that are wandering around with the raider leader so just be wary of that they can they can catch you by surprise this of course Springvale school is full of useful loot so just make sure you look around search everywhere use your local map this is the door that leads down to the mines of course you need a hundred percent or a hundred lockpick skill to pick it which you obviously do not have unless you have PC version you can do console commands but you know what fun is that but there is a key that the Raider Loser has, so you don't really need to worry about it. And of course, I'm struggling to find the door out of here. Anyway, cut forward. I already retrieved the key, and now I'm opening the door down in the basement to the mining tunnels. You will find mutated ants down here, so just be ready for that. Not very hard to kill not tough enemies if you've been following my guide you most likely have some frag grenades that you can use if you would like boom these of course are Mexican jumping ants. Alright, just be wary when you approach the assault rifle, which is on the left side of this room, over there. It will set off an arbitrary flag which will spawn ants coming out of this hole. And up there. So once I walked over to it, started spawning them, and so be ready to deal with these guys as quickly as you can. I wouldn't recommend picking up the stuff until you kill all of them. All of them. It kind of glitched a little bit. This ant had to send a tweet or a text to somebody and obviously didn't want to come down and fight me just yet. Had to build up the courage. And here it comes. So now we deal with this guy by repeated shots to the face. most of our dealings in the wasteland will go so already picked up the assault rifle here is a, another skill book this is a stealth skill book which will up your stealth skill now you can always save the skill books until you get that perk I talked about earlier which will give you two points for every skill book I recommend doing that make sure you loot these guys and that is it you guys are ready for all your forays into the wasteland Make sure, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and always take your Rad X.